Good morning. Good morning. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I had to get back on here. You know they don't like my lives. Come on, somebody. And I know why they don't. Come on, somebody. I hope you understand. A lot of people don't understand what's going on. What y'all need to do is ask y'all a question when they're not stopping the lives. <laughs> oh, come on, somebody. Don't make me start early this morning. Early this morning. Well, praise God. I'm going to start all over again. I don't mind. God had me, woke me up about 3.30, maybe 4 o'clock this morning. I don't really recall. And he said, Dan, I want you to talk about how people are actually allowing this world to overtake their spirit, their soul, their mind. Most people, you know, and I was telling you guys how I've been all over the world pretty much. And I've seen the same thing in every culture, in every um, ethnicity. It doesn't matter where people we get so bombarded with what they have who they are comparing themselves com competition that's why the church is in trouble everybody's trying to brand themselves in, in a competition the apostles didn't have to do that because they knew one thing they had one mission come on somebody hallelujah devil don't stop nothing y'all hallelujah so god was saying is we're getting this um actually presented the same thing that the enemy did with god if you fall down and worship me I'll give you everything. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. As if God cannot give you what you need. Oh, come on, somebody. And sometimes what you want, you be told. So basically what I was saying is I'm looking at people, you know, they don't understand the value of life. Oh, come on, somebody. It's not money. It's not cars. It's not homes. I, I know you think it is. Come on, somebody. Because this world has done a very good job in making you believe that everything outside looks good better than the inside come on somebody i just said something but i want you to be mindful of family and friends the things that truly truly are important come on somebody how fragile life is y'all ain't ready for me this morning oh come on somebody hallelujah so i'm gonna go ahead and do this thing i'm in mark 8 36 and i'm gonna read a couple of versions here hallelujah praise god thank you guys for coming back um you you know they don't like my lives like i said and i'm going to pose the question one more time you guys need to start asking why they're not stopping other people's lives <laughs> okay so anyway new international version what good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul and people think you can't you lose your soul okay keep thinking that all right so let's go to the king james version it says for what Will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Now, let's do some cross-reference things right here. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We're going to um, do a study Bible, like very short thing. It says, take up your cross. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and for the gospel, notice what it says, will save it. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world yet forfeit his soul? Or, and I want you to really pay attention of what the verbiage is. Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? You think that's just a question that's actually, it is, but it's a real one. All right, let's do cross-reference here. Matthew 16, 30, 26 says, what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world, yet forfeits his soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Mark 8.35 says, For whoever wants to save his life will lose his life, but whoever loses his life for my sake and for the gospel will save it. Mark 8.37 Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Praise God. Hallelujah. And that's my scripture um, for this morning. And so basically, this is what God was saying. He said, Deanna... All this year, I want y'all to listen to me very carefully. He said, all this year, I want you to drive this into people as much as you can. Notice what it says. It says, if you will lose your life, people don't want to lose their life. They're scared. Oh, come on, somebody. We all going to die. But the thing is, how will you die? Will you die for his sake and for the gospel? Or will you die because guess what? You working too much. Oh, I'm going here. Y'all not going to like me this morning. Y'all not going to like me. Let me tell you something. What you think matters does not matter. And I and I have found that out actually early on in life. But yeah, we still got to survive, pay bills, but it cannot overtake. You got people working two, three jobs and they tired. They sick and tired. Y'all know it's truth. I'm, I'm not speaking anything. It's just the truth, which I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But God never told you to go work no two or three jobs where you can't have a relationship with God, where you can't serve God, where you can't honor God. Come on, somebody. I'm saying something. The enemy then came into the church and it got the church 
that's why the church is not heavily anointed in this day and hour. Everybody's trying to brand themselves. Everybody's trying to, it's competition. It's who's the best. It's who's the greatest. It's who has the deep word of God. Y'all ain't ready for me this morning. It's the little things God says. He said, be mindful of how you treat people. Be mindful of how you take care of your family. Be mindful how you treat each other. Be mindful. He said, because one day you will close your eyes. And he says, he wants you to think about where will you spend eternity. If you die today or tomorrow and no one is promised. I'm going to say it again. No one is promised tomorrow or today. Let's be real. We open up our eyes, but anything could happen today. Let's be real. Hallelujah. So where would you spend eternity? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Another thing God said, another key point. He said, Deanna, I want people to start evangelizing again like never before. When is the last time you introduced somebody to Jesus Christ? I'm going to tell you right now, people love to talk about people. Oh, they doing drugs. Oh, they sleeping with this one. Oh, they fornicating. Oh, they committing adultery. Oh, they doing this. Oh, they doing that. Well, let me tell you something with your unsinful self. I just said something. Unsinful self. I didn't made up a whole thing because we all fall short of the glory of God. Instead of talking about them, can you pray about them? Instead of doing just that, can you introduce them to Jesus Christ of Nazareth? Or can you tell them you know my baby you can do it a different way or it, it, you know it's not what you say it's how you say it come on somebody hallelujah you don't, you don't always have to be cut throat oh come on somebody i i know more cut throat christians than a little bit you you say it but it, it don't have no it don't have no salt there's not enough flavor you're always trying to hurt somebody god says love them back to life come on somebody hallelujah you gotta love people back to life and notice what i'm gonna keep saying this because this is in my spirit Whoever loses his life for my sake and for the gospel, our main thing is supposed to be about this gospel, not gossip, but gospel. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm trying to tell you the truth. No anointing. No anointing. You right, um, Rosa. No anointing. You have a lot of good preaching, a lot of good teaching, but you ain't doing no reaching. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The, the Bible of the Bible clearly states that the laborers are few, but the harvest is plenty. And that's what's going on in this hour. It's time to get to people. But you can't get to people if you ain't been through nothing. Oh, I'm going somewhere. Most people want to be stars. Don't act like y'all don't know that. Everybody want to be famous. You want to be on TV. You want to be a star. You got everybody trying to get in where they fit in. But can I tell you something? When this world go down, and it will, and it is. Oh, come on, somebody. Look around. What you going to do when Jesus comes for you? Or better yet, when life comes for you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Count the call, said the Lord, and, and I'm going to drive this all year long. Be mindful of how you treat people. You know, introduce people to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They need, people are hurting. People are hurting. You know, everybody's going through something. But Jesus is he's he's the he's the Gilead. He's the bombing Gilead. Come on, somebody. He's the healer. He's the deliverer. He can save you. He can heal you. Come on, somebody. He can give you peace in a troubled world. He said, My peace that surpasses all understanding. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Only God can do you right. I don't care what you say. Not a man, not a woman, not a, a beast, not anybody. Not money, not funny, not honey. Come on, somebody. I know you think. Temporary, cheap thrills means nothing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. It's temporary, God says. He says, but I'll give you something that has life. I'll give you everlasting love. I'll keep you when you got to be kept. Come on, somebody, at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning when you're going through and when you don't know how your bills going to get paid. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. This stuff is real. So I pray that you understand every morning you get up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for keeping me. What is my assignment today? That's what I want you all to write in the comments. What is my assignment for today? Don't be bombarded with just your job, paying bills, and you got to get the money back and, and who you loving. Y'all y'all know what this world is about. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll still, just different types of music. Everybody's having a big old fun. It's just like Sodom and Gomorrah to the 10th power. But then when something happened, everybody want to pray. When something happened, everybody want to cry. When something happened, y'all know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. The Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge just because, guess what? Y'all wait till it happens. You're supposed to be praying before stuff happens. We, if we can get a church that's praying before stuff happens, I promise you we'll be more powerful. But but everybody want to wait. Don't wait. No. Pray before God says. And that's not putting in fear. That's faith. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So I pray that God bless you. Thank you, guys. It's been a minute. Um, I am fully moved here now. Taking care of my dad. Um. 
I, I'm, I'm glad I came back. That's all I can tell y'all. It is what it is, meaning that God is real. What God tells you to do is real. And I'm glad I was obedient. Um, it was not an easy decision, just to be honest with you, you know, but at the same token, I thank God for giving me um, the faith, the, um, the, um, the strength, the knowledge, the wisdom to understand what's re what's real and what's not y'all ain't ready for me because the, i'm telling you uh, and i'm going here i don't know why i guess because it, it concludes with the message y'all know how, how my friends came at me and how even loved ones and people oh you you just you know you're just making a name for yourself as chef Didi and this and that let me tell you something <laughs> you better count the cost and know what's important Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You only get one mother and one father. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Most people chasing bags and stuff like that. Then people close their eyes. You want to be crying. I said something. I just said something. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So God bless you all. God keep you all. I love you through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Make good decisions. Please make good decisions. Life is too short, guys. Life is too short. Hallelujah. So God bless you and God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.